Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Digital Devil Saga. Uh, this should be episode 14, and last time we ended up ultimately having to kill Janana, who refused to eat anyone and went out of control. However, we need to go get revenge and all that good stuff. But we need to go check out what's going on in here. Because obviously Mick and the Solids aren't really going to be occupying their own place anymore. We kind of pretty much took it out. So, we also have a new party member in the form of Gale. And, uh, generally I think we're going to roll with the same party. But we'll see how our attacks do in case the enemies have changed in this area. Oh, we have a vendor. How many? How much money do I got? I got some money, but I don't, I don't need any items though. I'm I'm actually all right. Yeah, I'm good. Save that money for mantras. How about that? Let's remember the solids. He ran left. Come on, your ass is mine. Your ass is mine. Hey, it's, um... I didn't mean to pass. Uh, hey, it's the, that guy. I'm out of it. Let's see. You know what? Honestly, pass. And then I'll, um... Then I'll be able to use Venom Fang. Much better. Turdak got the hell out of there. And so did Nekamata. Hmm. Oh, Gale's mastered Hyten. Oh yeah, we should go get you a thing. Hey, it's this big guy. But yeah, we should go ahead and get Gale a mantra. I may replace Heat for now with Gale, just out of interest. Yeah, everything keeps running from us. I guess we gotta get into the inner areas, and then maybe we'll get something. Because all of these enemies are solid enemies, so they're like, Oh no, not messing with this guy again. This group has given us nothing but crap. Okay, Gale, Angel, Ancient God, Hades... Mitama. I gotta go talk to Hades. Ancient God. Mitama. Karma accurate skills. Shared Karma. Shared Karma seems like an interesting ability. You know what? We cannot afford it. However, we can sell some of our bullshit to a vendor and afford it. I wanna get it. Have Gale work on that? Why not? In fact, we will uh, switch out Heat. Because I, I like Seraph because he's our main character, and I like to always get him stuff. And, um. Oops. For, forgot how you have to do this. I like Seraph as our main character, and there's no way in hell you're getting me to give up my healer. That's pretty much how it's gonna go. Let's go to a vendor and uh, get 20,000. Transmission from the Karma Temple. Cell bonuses earned. Oh, new items added to the vendor. Muscle drink was added. Spyglass. Great, things I'm not gonna buy. Thanks! Hmm. Do I have anything worth anything? Revival gems. Hmm. Honestly, I have three Soma drops. I can do with selling one of them off. That's usually my thing. I have not used a Soma Drop yet in the LP, because it's a single target, I like using spread. And I'm like, you know what? I don't want to sell them all off, because then, you know, karma will happen, or... Well, karma's something we gain, but karma's not a good word. But you, luck will have a, have a thing. Fate will intervene.
There we go. This thing is a four-star difficulty, so it's the general difficulty of all current mantras. So it'll be challenged to get it up there, but the rewards may be bountiful. I don't know. I don't know what shared karma even does. I didn't even do the research on it. But then again, I'm, I'm treating this as if I was playing this back in the day. And you don't actually know what uh, certain abilities and stuff do. It's like, I don't know. And that, I guess, will be part of the fun. Oh yeah, since I have the map, I can check which areas are dead ends. So which places, obviously, that guy didn't go to. Because I've been through here before. Ambush, no time to transform. Oh, of course, now they now they probably won't retreat. <laughs> Joke's on them. I'm going to. I really I haven't really made note when I was talking about voice actors. But isn't our other two side characters that are part of Embryon being Gale and Cielo? Aren't they both voiced by, like, Steve Blum and... It's Steve Blum... And it's, uh, Yuri Lowenthal. And I'm like, hey, you got a, you got a good cast of characters that aren't exactly supposed to feel anything. Like, Steve Blum is very interesting, because I didn't notice it, I kind of noticed it, but I'm like, ah, I don't know if that's him or not. It's kind of a, kind of a weird situation, he's not really acting normal. And then I'm like, that eh, probably makes sense. He, he, like, he's like, I don't feel anything. I do not, that is illogical. I do not comprehend. No, I don't comprehend. Your, your sandwich. It looks like the chambers are the big doors with like the two boundaries. So if we keep following these, we'll make it to chamber four really fast. I think. Yeah, I'm right. I'm right. Because we finished this, this place is actually a very quick trek. You know, compared to the three episodes we spent trying to get through this thing in Manipura. Um, why don't we fight? How about that? Venom Fang. Yep. Oh, Counter-Strike. Oh, that's, that's, that's bad. How about you? You've got Zanma. Oh, you got a moderate already. You have also a Mudo. I'm, I like you. Couldn't hurt to fight when they don't run, right? Well, at least we killed something, so we get some karma out of it. I, I guess fighting's not that much of a thing in this episode. It feels weird, right? Just this, this thing where the game... Unless the game just... These demons are just remnants. And then this is another example, in my opinion. My personal interpretation. Of, like... Like this! This is so... It's so this. The solids are remnants at this point. Like, thanks to... Mick essentially not being in a power displace anymore. They're in someone else's base now. They're occupying that area. But that place is also falling apart. It's like, everything's gone wrong. They see you guys. This is essentially, they're looking at a group through the Embryon that could very well, you know, they already own two territories. They pro who knows if they are still with their leader and know where their leader art is because their leader keeps eating them. We got that in the cutscene. They are terrified. So there's no doubt that a vast majority of them are gonna run away. Some may not, like this one. But we're on like a 90% like roll of these guys just leaving. And just saying, you know what? No. It's like they recognize that. They recognize that, yeah, yeah, way too big. Way too big of an issue to take on. And uh, the fact that the game's doing that, I think, is really interesting.
And he runs away. I probably should have gone for a boofalo if I wanted to get that kill. Just keep myself, keep my health up. You never know. We may have to fight something big. Observing the map. Ah, oh, Mapu Fu's a better bet. Yep. Hmm. If you guys all do Power Wave, that actually is a pretty bad combo. Yeah, but not all of them are like, oh man, no, we're not gonna get out of this. Also, having some of them run, but some of them not, is another cool way of the game kind of making it feel like... It helps it make it feel like they're so disorganized that they can't, like, come together and, like, be... Be aware, like, be... I'm bad at describing things. They're not organized enough to where they all have a clear goal and have a clear idea of everything in their mind. And it makes some of them like, oh, I don't know about you guys. I don't know why you guys are trying this. I'm getting the hell out of Dodge. Everything about that sits well with me, so. Again, love this game. Love that I'm doing it. Love that on a whim I decided to play the game. And now, gate number five. Oh yeah, gate number five is how you can get out early, so we are on our way to gate four. Uh, let's retreat. I'm not feeling every fight, you know? Like, the experience isn't even that great anymore. Like, let's get to it. There's that member of the solids. Let me guess, you going straight into gate four? You better watch out, because I have a feeling Kamazots, or, or Mr., what's his name, Mr. Bat, that stupid bastard, who I legitimately don't like because I actually liked uh, Janana's character, that motherfucking traitorous Bat is probably gonna try and assume control. I feel like that's what, what that kind of asshole would try to do. We definitely have to have a fight in here. We gotta. Let's go in. What's up with these guys? Where the hell is Mick? Kamazot's fight, Psycho Rage, four turns. Whoa. Uh-uh. Are you kidding me? Back up. Oh my god, this is so Oh, and that thing gets a reinforcement. And now he does a bold void expel. Talk about someone who is well prepared. Uh, Mabufu, because I know his guard, he doesn't take much damage. Hurry up! 
Earth messed him up before. But this time it didn't actually do much. Like, it didn't break his guard. His guard is better now. How... How did he improve along with us? I didn't see him in much of those battles. Fun begin. Well, he's continuing to use turns for that. He is now trying to curse us. Wait, you probably have the void for that. Okay, hold on. Do I have an item to help, help you out? I have a Discurse. Okay, we will Discurse, have him void it on his turn. And then, uh... Yeah. I feel like Void Death has something to do with it. Maybe that, like, does curse. Maybe. This is just guesses. Do I have items that do Earth? I do. And now he's going to Void Earth. Yeah, they're doing Death moves. Yeah, we're gonna have to have him always on that Void Death then. Okay. Okay, we're, we're, we're learning... We're learning things now, okay? So that's... That's good, that's good. Um, maybe Venom Fang does a little bit better on these guys. It does. Do I sense some hostility? Not so fast. You gotta eat your vegetables before you can have dessert. Thought I miss on one of those, I guess. This could be tough. Do we only have two turns? Or is it because we're doing a spread attack like Venom Fang is not doing much to him? Let me look closely at my icons. There, I used one. Or does Void take two slots? No, it doesn't. Okay. Alright, I'll just use magic then. Keep using these. I feel like I don't want to use an item that has a chance to cut their HP in half because I don't know how far along they are. take this time to heal everyone up. At this rate, you're not gonna kill us. All he's focusing on is defense. He's banking on those reinforcements completely screwing us over. And sorry to disappoint you, with a guy constantly using a thing that shields it, you are not gonna get past us. So now he's caught in a loop. Eventually those things will go down. From here I'm gonna focus on one from here on. I 
Alright, no need to heal just yet. Man, those things can take a hit. Now let's see what cutting something's thing in half does for these guys. Wow, they still had a lot of health. However, doing that changed Kamazot's behavior. It made him say, oh, they have expels, I need to make sure I don't have any. And that makes a lot of difference. Alright, he used Void Expel Casey, so we don't have to worry about him. We don't need, we can't use Holy Arrow. We can instead do something that will make him mad. And Lord knows what I love to make this guy mad. Now he used Void Earth, which means we do Holy Arrow. Ah, this is a great, this is a great combo. Okay, cut it in half, so their HP we now know is 51. That will not be hard to take care of. Doesn't matter how strong your death spells are, you're still going to die. I have an ultimate shield against them every turn. And luckily, Void Death takes not too much SP, because I've been using it a lot. I'd like to hope that it does. In case he has desperation moves, let's keep our health a little bit topped off. Ah, he's continuing with the Void Earth. I guess it's interesting to see this is how he thinks he can defeat us. It's like, the last time I fought you, it's like, you guys will break my guard, now I'll never break the guard. That'll win, right? Damn it, I don't have moderate damage on these. Ah, fuck it. Let's try, uh... Oh, that, oh those are walls. Um, that'll work, then. That's one. Void Expel, you made a mistake. I'm afraid I've got some bad news. I also got some bad news. I'm out of uh, grenades. That's fine. This guy's almost out the door. There we go. We have no reason to do Void Death anymore because this dude doesn't have any Void Death. Any Death moves. But just in case, we will use it once in case he has one. That he only uses when he's uh, alone. Bravo, bravo! I guess it's my turn now. Physical Drain. Physical Absorb Shield. Ah, so you absorb physical. That is not a problem. Like, trust me, that is not a, a problem at all. Hmm, from there, uh, Terra, I guess? Oh uh, yeah, he shields Terra whenever he's not blocking. Oh great, he can absorb. That's gonna be annoying. It's not so simple to get 
you know, get that back. But he is not physical. Ah, okay. He's not, like, guarding against physical during that. Well, here's Spiral Edge. Well, I know the key to taking him out now. Do some decent damage. There we go. That's it! Now let's eat this motherfucker. I can't wait to consume you! Oh, I can't wait to eat him. It'll be delicious. What the hell is going on? <laughs> You're too late. That stupid girl's in Nick's hands by now. How do you know about Sarah? <laughs> There's a girl at our base who can help you control this power. Come with us. Come and see Sarah, please. You son of a... They are a step ahead of us. If they know that much. They are planning to neutralize us using Sarah's power. How do you know that? Don't tell me that you... It is logical. She's just a girl who can sing. How dare you drag her into this mess? I do not comprehend. Logic demands the most efficient response to... No! It's not right! I'll taste your flesh one day, woman! It may be too late, but we should return to base. <laughs> Close the gate. Don't let them get away. Yeah, where the fuck did he go? Well, I guess we're locked with using you guys. And they locked us in here? Huh. This bites. I bet they're not gonna run now. Maybe the running thing isn't because they were scared, it was because of... Because it was a trap. The green object appeared as the light fell from the sky. It appears to heal anything it comes in contact with. Wow, just a full healing light. Alright. Well, from here, we have to escape... Manapura and get back to Muladhara so we can save Sarah. So with that, we're done with this episode of Digital Devil Saga. See you guys next time for when we try to escape this place. Yo, Bat Live, that's bullshit, right?